First at 10, the war over gasoline. Most Valley schools are out right now for spring break. And as students look to rest over the next week, school officials are working to figure out if the latest gas price hikes are going to affect those who do take the bus. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Rudy Mireles. This is where average gas prices stand right now in each Valley County. According to AAA, gas costing drivers about $4 a gallon in Hidalgo and Cameron counties and not really much of a difference in Star and Willisey County where the price is $3.99. That's for unleaded gas. That's what we typically put into our car cars. School buses, on the other hand, need diesel fuel. The average price per gallon, $4.97 Valley wide. And that is concerning some school districts. They're worried the added costs will overwhelm their budgets and jeopardize bus routes. General 5's Monica de Anda explains. Every day, thousands of children hop on a school bus valley-wide. And every so often, bus drivers stop to fill up. Well, actually, it's affecting every part of the industry as of right now. Brownsville ISD's transportation director, Iludo Ornelas, says the jump in fuel prices is also affecting the district's $3.1 million transportation budget. He says, thankfully, they have some cushion for fuel but they're already planning for next year. Our district is uh, working on the budget and we're gonna have to be, uh, to put a little bit more cushion in it if these prices continue. All our fleet is diesel and we need to have that fuel. Bus drivers here at Brownsville ISD have to fill up a lot. When they arrive at the fueling station, what they do is grab a pump and fill up two to three times a week. Right now, approximately 8,000 BISD students ride the bus daily with 160 routes throughout the district. And Ornella says there's no need to worry. We don't plan to cut anything on our transportation services. Across the valley, over at Mission CISD, a similar situation. We are paying more for, for fuel for our bus fleet, but it hasn't really been seen in terms of the billing hitting the accounting department yet. Mission CISD has a transportation budget of $4.9 million. Burley says the district's budget also has wiggle room, so they don't plan to cut any bus route or field trips due to gas-related reasons. It's not impacting trips that we're making. We're moving forward as regularly scheduled with all of our events. Uh, we don't want to impact uh, the student learning and the student activities in that manner. Both school districts monitoring gas prices closely as they look ahead to next year. But for now, they have this message for parents. Use the school bus transportation. It's safer and it will free the traffic in the mornings in the cities. And they will save a little money on gasoline. Monica de Anda, Channel 5 News, this weekend.